All right, Itora is well fed, well rested, ready for adventure. I assume her name's Itora. I mean, what's the game gonna be titled after? What? Oh, there's there's no floor down there. Just uh, this deceptive scenery. Okay. Um, okay, no real reason to come up here. Ugh. Not worth my time. I'm gonna have to let that meat get away, uh, human. Maybe we'll call her just human. <laughs> uh, I want to do a girl named Savannah Human. These luchador lotuses can just be any shape. <laughs> hmm. This might actually be the intended way to go. So uh, we gotta go see what's down here then. Uh, an area that needs a double jump, of course. Well, I heal right before a fire pit, but I can see your uh, replenishing crystal back anyway. I guess we can go see what's down here, but I assume it's just going to need the double jump also. No, we can make that. Okay. Oh, you look important. <laughs> it's just kind of an out of place thing for this girl to do. Oh, I'm a I'm a forest child with with great athleticism, and I can beat things up with my stick, and I can absorb the darkness into my soul. <laughs>
Oh, okay. So, is that like the new power I just got then? Can we do it over here too? So it's kind of going to loop around, I guess. But we're ultimately going to go up there, so let's just explore down here first. Okay, we can only do it sideways. That's probably why the stones are different. That's gonna be like a ground pound or something. Well, uh... Well, we can't really afford another health upgrade, because we need to find another Pale Feather, don't we? Oh, just back here again, okay. Just once. Woohoo! Had to do it. This is a gorgeous background, though. Why, though? Alright, well now we're just looping back around. We oh, saw one of those kinds of blocks. It was probably over there. Yeah, that's definitely where it was. See, we couldn't have come up here anyway. It's a very strong sunset. I love sunsets. Oh, nice. Kinda got a Donkey Kong... Oh, I'm gonna go to the save point first. Donkey Kong Shadow Level incoming. Is this a dead end? I'm gonna jump off here and the hyenas will come and say, If you ever come back, we'll kill ya! Let's find out. Yeah.
I really love these <coughs> types of levels in games. They're just so beautiful. Is there anything ever up here that I don't think we can really nick that? No. Double. All right, coming out of the Twilight Zone. Going to get a wall jump, obviously. She seems the type of girl that could wall jump. Got some very nice ruins. Crumbly ruins, I see. That was nice. Take a look around. In the meantime, I'll have a go at these. I wonder if uh, she can read them. Haha, <laughs> die in the spikes and I still get your loot.
Uh oh, he set off an Indiana Jones trap. Or we just hit a mechanism to make things start moving. That's fine too. Brought life back to the ruins. <laughs> oh my god, Crash Bandicoot. The in and out platforms. The Forbidden Ruins. Ouch. This just reminds me of Kirby 64. No, I thought I could make it. Oh, 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 my feet. Ouch. Oh, that's... That's not gonna make it easy to walk. Alright, easy treasure chest, not bad. The wind is really howling today. Glad I don't want to be outside. Now this reminds me of the Lion King from SNES. Where he had a like wall jump hop from these hanging platforms. So there was something back here, wasn't there, that we can interact with? Like, where are those in and out platforms that it showed us? Oh no, we're just going back to the beginning. I don't want that. Just gonna keep going ahead then. Just love how ordinary the locks look for ancient ruins. Apparently there's a platform up here. Odd. It's very odd that there's platforms in there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, she passed her gymnastics class. Not a big deal.
Whoa. More hangable platforms, I take it. Feels just a little bit tedious. Very tedious. Love how she crosses her legs when she's hanging on. <laughs> Oh, you jerk. Ugh. get to that chest. <laughs> He's not afraid of no Indiana Jones hokum. some uh, Crash Bandicoot hokum. Yeah, I don't even need those, because she's such a good jumper, Ugh, unlike Crash Bandicoot. It's not a platformer in a ruins level without one of these frickin' puzzles. You can make that! Oh, look what I did. <laughs> Get through there. Yeah, that definitely looks go throughable. Well, came from the other way this time. Uh, 
And we're falling. We're all right. Wow, looking at we're far enough for our health and stamina upgrade. Along the third one almost. Oh, you seem like a toughie. Alright, new ability. Already, baby. Uh wall jump. Yep, wall jump! Aha, I knew it! Oh, jeez Louise. Alright, now I can afford three upgrades, provided we find the pale feathers. Probably just keep doing health, because there's not really much need for stamina. Ugh. Just making sure I didn't think so. Okay, we're going to new area. Oh. Oh, I just don't think she'll make it, but she does make it because she's that good of a jumper. Oh, and that time she doesn't make it. Golly, they're everywhere. Oh, and these are spikes or darts, whatever. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. There's way too much happening here. We can go, probably go up there next, then. Of course you're going to have them while I'm wall jumping. That's just not fair! Okay. And this loops back around to that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought it would loop back around to. Perfect. Coming to a save point.
Oh no, now we gotta come back here with the double jump. Screw you. Already? Why you do that? There better be some freaking quick travel in this game. Give me the power to warp between fireplaces. Oh, can't believe I survived that. What do I get from my efforts? Alright, a, a dungeon key. I had to come around that way anyway. And now we make the grand loop. This thing again, that's lovely. Okay, perfect. This is a whole, and a whole new part of it. Do this in the game, why you torture me so? Now I got chainsaws. Chainsaws. deal with chainsaws in Hollow Knight, and they were much worse than this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gotta be extremely painful. You are one strong girl. Another chest, that's what I thought. <laughs> and that's how we get up to this area. Yippee. up here first. Nothing. Whee! I'm going down the fun way. Might as well get some combat training in while I'm waiting on this. Gotta do some fighting now. Oh dear, what the heck are these? I 
guess we did get combat training. <laughs> I traveled down the fun way. Ooh, now we're going to a ritualistic chamber. Ooh. Is this some kind of labor aquarium laboratory zoo? Is that a computer? Okay. Wow, I've never seen... I've never been this far inside. This room definitely has a different air about it. Something about an old ritual and a catastrophe. Z Zibalba. Was that a person or something else? Ooh, Zibalba! Oh, he's the king of the land of the forgotten from, uh, what was it? The Book of Life. I can't read that text very well because of the shaking bubble. Let's get out of here quickly. Something, this is part of the plague or something. It's this block, so I see another way. Don't bail on us. All right, thank you. Uh, nothing this way, let's go. Is this about to be a chase sequence? Ugh, this feels like a chase sequence, better run. Got checkpoints then. How far back is it? Okay, if, if that thing wound up pretty far back, then that really works for me. Oh, okay, here he comes. Yikes. What? Why? Yeah. It's kind of like the one thing Hollow Knight was missing compared to Ori, the chase sequences. Glad this game managed to work them in. <laughs> All right, we made it. fight that thing, right? Yeah, 
Okay, that was effective. up here in the Dalva King Ming Madalva and my Dalva King Ming Madalva where are we going okay we're just going to the other side of the ruins now okay well this is probably just the way back but we want to go I want to go right where keep exploring Oh, now we're on the frickin' edge of the world. Probably says, like, Gateway to Heaven. Boop! <laughs> feel like something's gonna happen there later, though. This looks a little too special, just be a edge of the world prank. Oh, it's just so stunning how she just leaps against the sunset. You probably use that image in marketing. <laughs> you now we gotta run back across the road, we crumbled. I guess we have to recrumble it now. Oh yeah, I've had a feeling something happened in here. Yeah, I can attack you through the environment like in Hollow Knight and Eternum. Oh, that's all then. Oh, now you can go up here. All that for a chest. And that's a pale feather, isn't it? We're getting another health upgrade. Oh, Petrified Echo. Interesting. Okay, that's what the one person needs, right? So where are we now? Kind of in familiar territory. Ah, at least we're back to the more pleasant music. Out of that scary place.
<laughs> I guess this will go down to the village? I don't know. Well, I guess the village is that way. Isn't it? Oh, Smoky Mountains! I love the Smoky Mountains! Oh, I went there on two vacations. Oh, they're so beautiful. Alright, now we're definitely looping back around the familiar territory. But we can go through that little cave now, can't we? I guess we might as well just stop by the village first before we ultimately go to Smoky Mountains. It's just down there. Oh no, we have to come back there from the other way. Oh, you jerks. Well, that's a shame. Alright, so let's find the person who wants these echoes. So are you telling me there's a connection? <laughs> Apparently. It was the plague itself that assaulted us after all. Yeah, cool. Hey friends. I just finished a retelling of our grand adventure. Do you think she mentioned the utter destruction of the ruins? Did you blow anything up? Not really. The plague creature tore the place apart and squished itself. <laughs> I just gave it a little nudge. That's a relief. The plague creeps closer still. Undoubtedly, you've seen it. I fear that the plague spread out from the world tree. Obviously. This is true that the entire forest is in unfathomable danger. And, and you want the scientific genius and this terrific warrior to head there and investigate? Obviously not! I should head there myself, for an audience with the Guardian of the World Tree. But I have to take care of the village first and foremost. Feel. What's the issue then? We'll get your crazy sister there. No problem. Enjoy. Yeah, I didn't realize until now that she was a girl. Like this ad adventurer. Mm -hmm. Seek out Dahlia, the Guardian of the World Tree. 
That explains why he mentioned the marital problems uh, earlier. As if they were a couple. A being like her surely knows how to handle the plague. Oh, brother. Let's go find who wants the thing in the what's it. About additional cure. <laughs> okay. That'll come in handy. Indeed. <laughs> going left at this time. I'm sure we'll get our chance to go to the Smoky Mountains later. I love the Smoky Mountains. Hey Hiya! What time are you leaving? Um, seven, seven? So, seven, not seven, seven So we shouldn't. We shouldn't move cars? No, because I leave at 9.30. Okay. Which means you're leaving first. Well, I just want to, uh, I think I want to move these cars up. What's wrong with the dishwasher? I, I don't know. I mean, they, they, they finish, like, this morning or something. Well, they're probably trying to. It's probably trying to run the drive cycle. Uh. Do they drive? They seem like they're relatively dry. 